Sup everyone, Elijah here, and let me welcome you to another video produced by Financial Anatomy, the place where you can take control of your financial destiny. On this channel, we talk about personal finance, side hustles, ways to make money, and also investing. And we're going to be talking about the latter in this video because we're covering the Webull investing app. Specifically, how do you buy a stock on Webull? The Webull platform is mostly known by investors as being the platform that has the most information inside the app so that you can make an informed decision inside the app as opposed to having to get your information outside of the app to make an investment decision. And before you start wondering why is that important, don't underestimate that because a lot of their competitors just simply don't do that. With that being said, Webull's interface is a little less than intuitive. In fact, some people consider it fairly complicated. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to actually buy a stock on Webull and you'll get to visually see inside the app, what does it look like? So let's move over to the app itself so you can watch me buy a stock so you can learn how it works inside the Webull app. So the first thing we want to do is open up our Webull app. And this will take us to our watch list. Now, if you see a stock that you want to purchase in your watch list, you can actually just click on that stock directly and make the purchase that way. So for instance, if I wanted to purchase some of Vanguard Energy uh, ETF, I click on it. Then I would just scroll to the bottom to look at the information that uh, can help me make the decision. And then I can just click trade. That's one way. You're going to back out of that. And you can also click on the markets tab at the bottom and manually search for a particular stock. This is the method that I'm going to use for this video. So I'm searching for CVA, which is a utility. I'm going to click on it. And it takes me to the same place. You can obviously see how much each share of stock costs, as well as additional information that you can use to make your investment decision. So when you're ready to actually buy the stock, you wanna click on trade. Before you can actually trade, you will need to enter your trading password, or if you have the fingerprint ID set up, you just need to put your finger down. I don't have that set up, so I'm just gonna enter my trading password. Now, once you get to this screen, you basically have two options when it comes to buying a stock on Webull. You have what's known as the limit and the market. We're not going to cover the stop or OTO because that's beyond the scope of this video. We're just going to focus on those two. So for limit, you want to think of it like this. The share is at a certain price, which at this point is $13.62. But let's say you don't want to buy it for that price. You want to buy it when it hits a certain price. So let's say $13.30. I could lower this to $13.30. What this does is when I put the limit order in there, it won't actually buy the share until it drops below that particular price, which is pretty useful if you see certain things happening in the market and you want the opportunity to buy that stock if it hits whatever price that you want. But if it doesn't, then the limit order can just cancel out. You can adjust how many shares you want to buy using the quantity button. So right now, set it one. I can set it at one, two, three, etc. I'm gonna leave it at one. And if you're willing to keep this limit order in place for extended hours, you would just check yes. And we'll just briefly read this by not checking yes for extended hours. Orders can be filled during regular trading hours only. But let's say you don't care anything about buying it at a certain price or waiting for it to drop or rise or whatever. You just wanna buy it at whatever price it is. We're going to switch over to market. And when you're on the market screen, all you need to adjust is how many shares you want to buy, which is the quantity, because you're not looking to put any limits on that order. On both options, you see how much the share is at this time, as well as the buying power you have in your account right now, in addition to how many shares you're going to be purchasing. Now, an important thing to note is if you're not within the trading hours that was shown on the screen before, you want to change the time in force to GTA. That stands for good till cancel, which means that it's going to execute the moment that the market opens back up unless you manually cancel it. Next, we have buy. It's asking me to confirm everything that we've covered. I'm going to hit confirm. And boom, I place the order and it will be fulfilled as soon as the market is able to. Now, if I click on open orders, it shows that the order is still open and I have the option to cancel it if I wanted to. I don't want to but just so you know. But keep in mind that this is only an option because the order hasn't executed yet. I'm doing this after normal trading hours. 
if I was within uh, trading hours, then this time frame would be extremely short because it would have been executed almost immediately. Boom. You now know how to buy a stock using the Webull app. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if you haven't signed up for Webull yet, you can sign up using the link in the description or in the pinned comment. That will get you two free stocks if you deposit over $100 or more. And those stocks will be valued at between $8 and $1,600, which is a nice way to start your investment career if I do say so myself. If you found value in this video, give it a like. It's very much appreciated. I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to get out there and take control of your financial destiny.